Hi, boys and girls. This is Mrs. Pearson, your elementary ELL teacher. Today, we're going to focus on the spelling and phonics pictures and words for First Grade Journeys Lesson 11. And this lesson is practice A because we're going to go over words 1 to 12. I also have a lesson that's practice B in another video. Our anchor text is at home in the ocean. For this lesson, you will need a pencil and a piece of paper, and you're going to write your numbers 1 to 12. So if you need to get your materials, push pause, get your pencil and paper, write your numbers 1 to 12 like you see on the paper, and then when you're finished writing your numbers, push play. Because at the end of the lesson, I'm going to challenge you and you can get your crayons or your pencil to rainbow write or just write your words three more times. One, two, and three. So your teacher might have given you this worksheet. It also has numbers one through 12, but the words and pictures are there. If so, you will need three crayons to rainbow write and match the words below. So either way, make sure you have your paper and your pencil and crayons, if you have them, and you'll be ready to start. So here's our learning target. I can correctly read and spell first grade words with the digraph TH, as in thumb, and S, E, S, E, D, and I, N, G endings. Those are all verb tenses. So success criteria, that means how will you know that you are successful by correctly reading and spelling first grade words with the TH and all the verb tenses or those endings with the words that end in S, E, S, E, D, and I, N, G. Well, here are our steps to success. We're going to do these together. Number one, I will read and say each word. Number two. I will spell and write each word. Number three, I will do my best. And number four, I will write each word three more times. That's your challenge at the end of this lesson. So again, words with TH as in thumb, thumb. TH says th 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 thumb. And S, E, S, E, D, and I, N, G endings. Like, here's our root word, jump. So here's a girl. She jumps. So there's the S ending. She is jumping. Uh, she jumped. The ED ending. So she jumps. She is jumping. She jumped. That's past tense. Those are all different verb tenses. So again, verb tenses with S, E, S, E, D, and I, N, G endings. For example, there's the past tense, which is yesterday. The action is done in the past. Past tense, Sam played with blocks or played blocks. It's already done. The action was done in the past, played, or the present. Today, plural, two or more people. The action happens today or every day. For example, present tense, the children are playing, and that has the ing. So Sam played blocks, that's yesterday. The children are playing, that's today, with two or more people. And then there's the present tense with Today, a singular or one person doing the action, and that is present tense. The girl plays or the girl is playing. So we've got the past tense, it already happened, and the present tense, it's happening now, either with two or more people or with just one person. Number one, number one. The word is hat, hat, 
H A T, hat. And you may say, Mrs. Pearson, that doesn't have a TH or an S E D or I N G ending. And you are correct because the next word is that rhymes with hat is going to have one of those things. Hat. So first write hat. The owl is wearing a hat. Hat. H-A-T. So what belongs to the same word family or rhymes with hat? Number two. So it says, what is that? Or that is my friend. So the word is that, and it has the T-H, that. Hat and that rhyme. Hat and that rhyme. So make sure you wrote that for number two. T-H-A-T, -T, that. That, they both belong to the at word family. So make sure you've written number one, hat. Number two, that. Number three. What animal is that? It's a hen. Hen. H-E-N. H-E-N. Hen. A hen is a female chicken. A hen lays eggs, like you see in the picture. Hen, H-E-N, hen. What rhymes with hen? Number four. What rhymes with hen? And down at the bottom, it says first, next, then. Hmm. It's then, hen, rhymes with then. So first there's A, and then there's B, and then you would put C. So the man needs to put C right next to the, the B. So C is in between B and D. So then, then, first, next, then, T-H-E-N, hen. Then. Number five. What rhymes? Oh, sorry. The word is hiss. Hiss. The cat is hissing. Or the cat likes to hiss. H-I-S-S. -S. Hiss. And we've got the present tense, the cat hisses. You do not need to write these sentences. You only need to write hiss, but I want you to listen and hear um, the different end verb tense endings. So just write hiss for number five. The cat hisses. The cat is hissing. And the past tense, the cat hissed. So the present tense is the cat hisses or the cat is hissing. And the past tense is the cat hissed. So we have the ES, the ING, and the ED endings. All right, what rhymes with hiss? It says this right here, and this is my book. This, T-H-I-S. So for number five, you wrote hiss, H-I-S-S. -S. And for number six, you wrote this, T-H-I-S, this, this right here, or this is my book, this. Number seven, 
Is that a picture of hem, H-E-M, hem. There's a, the person is sewing a hem or the bottom of a um, dress. There's a hem. They call that the hem stitch up at the top. And then at the bottom of the dress is a hem. So make sure you write hem, H-E-M, hem. And number eight is going to rhyme with hem. And there's the sign language for it. Them, T-H-E-M, them, T-H-E-M, them, hem them. The boy is pointing to them. Them. More than one person. Two, peop two or more people. Them. T-H-E-M. So for number seven, write hem. H-E-M. And for number eight, write them. T-H-E-M. Them. Number nine, what do you think this is with? The ball is with the box or next to, and the girl is, ne is with her friend. They are with each other, with, W-I-T-H, with, with. W-I-T-H, with. What rhymes with with? Oh, not, it doesn't rhyme. I'm sorry. It has the same ending. So the next word does not rhyme with with, but it has the same ending sound, the T-H. All of those creatures are in a bath. So with and bath have the same ending sounds. With and bath have the same ending sounds. T-H says th. So the dog is taking a bath. The rubber ducky is floating in the bath. Bath. B-A-T-H, bath. So with ends in T-H and bath ends in T-H. Number 11. Oh, there is jump. So all you need to do is write jump, jump, J-U-M-P, jump. J-U-M-P, and then we're going to practice our verb tenses or endings. She jumps. She is jumping. She jumped. So the present tense, you could say she jumps or she is jumping. And if she already did it, you would say she jumped. So there's the S, the I-N-G, and the E-D ending. You do not need to write those. Just write jump, J-U-M-P, and then you can say the sentences with me. She jumps. She is jumping. She jumped. All right. This word rhymes with jump. Thump. The rabbit is thumping his foot. Thump. Thump. T H U M P. Thump. Thump. Jump and thump rhyme. And thump has T H. T H. U-M-P, jump, thump.
The rabbit thumps his paw. Thumps. There's the S ending. The rabbit is thumping his paw. That's the ING ending. Or past tense, the rabbit thumped his paw. There's the ED ending. So you could say it with me after you've written thump, T H U M P, thump. It rhymes with jump. So the rabbit thumps his paw. So read that with me. The rabbit thumps his paw. Do not write these sentences, just say them with me. The rabbit thumps his paw. The rabbit is thumping his paw. The rabbit thumped his paw. All right, time to check your work. Number one, hat. H-A-T, hat. And we wrote that because it rhymes with that. T-H-A-T, that is my friend. That, or that is my hat. That. Number three, hen. We wrote hen because it rhymes with then. T-H-E-N, then. First, next, then this happened. Number five, hiss, H-I-S-S, -S. the cat likes to hiss, or the cat hisses, the cat is hissing, or the cat hissed, H-I-S-S, -S. and what rhymes with hiss? This, and it has the T-H, this, this is my book. If you need to, push pause, Make sure you have one, two, three, four, five, and six, all six words spelled correctly. And when you're done checking your work, push play. All right, number seven, hem. Hem. We picked hem because it rhymes with number eight, them. Hem and them, and them has the th. Them. The boy is pointing to them. Number nine, with, with, W-I-T-H, with. The ball is with the box, with. And what also has the same ending as with? Bath, bath, the dog is taking a bath. And then number 11, jump. She jumps. Jump, J-U-M-P. What rhymes with jump? Thump. Jump and thump rhyme. All right, make sure you have seven, him, eight, them, nine, with, ten, bath, eleven, jump, twelve, thump. If you need to, push pause. Make sure you have all 12 words spelled correctly. And when you're finished, push play. All right, at the top of your paper, I want you to reflect on your learning today. I can correctly read and spell first grade words with the digraph th as in thumb and s e s e d and i n g endings verb tenses would you give yourself a four i could teach this lesson i was able to read write and spell all the words easily and correctly or would you give yourself a three i was able to read write and spell most of the words correctly or would you give yourself a two? I was able to read, write, and spell some of the words correctly. Or would you give yourself a one? I was not able to read, write, or spell any of the words correctly. How do you think you did today? Four, three, two, or one. All right. So here's your challenge. It's the end of the lesson. Challenge yourself. Get your crayons or your pencil to rainbow write or just write your words. One two, three more times. Thank you, boys and girls, for reading and spelling with me today. Have a great day.